Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and this is how to install a clean PlayStation 5 installation where you don't see any wires and you don't even have to use the disk drive because I got the PS5 digital without disk drive. So you can see here I've got my sound bar, all wires are neatly hidden. And check this out when you come back here. There's the PS5 Slim. Now I did put the fans facing up and I haven't had any thermal issues. Obviously keep an eye on it. Uh, this particular TV has a, a, let's just call it a shelf of sorts. So it enabled me to put my PS5 Slim on there. Now, one thing you're gonna probably wanna do is expand your PS5 storage. Subscribe, check out my separate video, how to install NVMe storage and PS5 Slim. Took a few minutes and then I've got an abundance of storage. Obviously, I did not go with the PS5 Slim with disk drive because I don't ever intend to use it. I've got this out of sight, out of mind, and I've got plenty of storage. I just went with two terabytes for NVMe, and then I've got the built-in storage, which I think is one terabyte in the PS5 Slim. So, plenty of storage, no need to fumble with uh, with putting a disc in and out of the drive, no need to fumble with storing those discs. They create clutter. And as far as powering it on and off, all I gotta do is press the P, uh, PlayStation button on the PS5 controller, it comes on, so I don't have to touch the physical console. Now, uh, one thing I did do, just out of best practice, you can see there, there's a USB-C as in Charlie cable. I did connect that to the front of the PS5 Slim, and I've got it, so you can see right there, should I encounter any sort of issue with my controller, I could easily grab that uh, USB-C cable and plug it into the physical controller. And, you know, and likewise, I could push the power button on the PS5 if it happened to lock up and I couldn't turn it on or off with the controller. So everything's easily accessible, but it's out of sight, out of mind, looks clean. And the only thing that I've got that's not behind the TV is my PS5 controller, and I just got a third-party USB-C, USB Charlie cable to keep it charged. So very clean, no disc, no clutter. It looks nice if you're a casual gamer like I am. Uh, this is the best way to configure your PS5. Now, PS5 original is a chunky monkey. It's a little bit fatter. So depending upon your TV mount, you may not be able to fit the original PS5 behind the TV. Likewise, you may not be able to fit the PS5 Slim behind your TV. So what I would recommend doing is checking behind your TV, just eyeball it and measure and see, hey, you know, maybe PS5 Slim Digital will fit back here. You know, measure your setup and that'll give you a good expectation as to whether or not it may or may not work. So it's... uh. It's super clean, I like it. I am thrilled I don't have to deal with disc. I don't have to deal with the clutter. And like I said, all I've got that's not in there is the PS5 controller to enjoy the PS5 with and also to power it on and off using the, uh, the PlayStation button. Tell me what you think within the comment section below and you can find a link to the TV, the soundbar, and the PS5 Slim. Also the NVMe like I use and how to install uh, PS5 Slim NVMe. Subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all my other videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.